Here's the coffee and it's going to get cut this morning because I have to make a second batch. So this one is for a wholesaler, so I want to have some for my retail peeps. So here we go. I shorted the water significantly on this one so that it would cure faster since it was for a wholesale account. Mine, I have the luxury of time, but wholesalers, not so much. There we go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I like that. I would make a bigger batch, but I don't have a bowl big enough. I have the mold, I just don't have the bowl. <laughs> oh well. So, yeah, it's still a bit soft. I can't believe that. Wow. Can't believe it's still a bit soft, but. Anyway, that'll get smoothed out. I got some pictures this afternoon. I love these colors together. This is poppycock, and that's the tall, dark, and handsome. And the ivory part is champagne cream. Woot! Loving this. And it smells wonderful. I took two fragrances, coffee beans from Rustic Essentials and that dark chocolate from Fragrance Laboratory out in Oklahoma. Hi Cindy! I just used a little bit of the dark chocolate because one, it's really strong, and two, I just want a hint of chocolate. And when I made this, the chocolate the dark part was nice and thick, but the white didn't want to thicken up, so I stick blended that, and the poppy co copper was really runny. So this does not accelerate. Coffee beans from Rustic Essentials does not accelerate, but it will discolor, which is why this will just get more and more dramatic as time goes on, because it will darken that dark part up even more. I'm tickled. And you already saw that one, so. Anywho, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got two more left. And those will go towards my retail customers. Probably shouldn't be using my fingers, but I don't have the soap police knocking at my door, so I'll just go with it. It really surprises me that this is soft because it called for a lot more water than what I added to it. Strange. Anyhow. This last end piece right here that looks all or mostly brown will become samples. And then I'll get even more samples with the second batch. But there we go. I did use a bit of sodium lactate, so this should firm up nicely. And that's why it came out of the mold so nicely. So there you go. Coffee and cream. Person who's asking for this wholesale help me name it. Crystal Haley. She sort of pushed me over the edge to use one I had thought of. So that will be the name. Coffee and Cream. I wanted to name it something like You're the Cream in My Coffee. Or Wake Up and Smell the Coffee. But it's kind of hard to fit that on a label. So we'll go with something shorter. Oh, 
not sure why this keeps breaking off. Anyway, here we go. Ta-da! Coffee and cream. Ready in October. Bye.